Monica Leonard. I have the privilege of leading the efforts of MARF in the Missouri State Capitol. As a legislator, I realize you have a lot of people and issues demanding your attention. Among the issues you will be considering this session, we want to make sure you are aware of a crisis that is impacting the lives of people with intellectual and developmental disabilities and the providers that support them to live and work as self-sufficiently as possible. It is critical you are aware of this crisis. Here is why and how you can help. Missouri is facing a serious workforce shortage, but it seems like no one is talking about it. We call it the DSP crisis. DSPs are the essential healthcare workers who provide hands-on assistance that people with disabilities rely on each day. Half of the 15,000 DSPs in Missouri are enrolled in Medicaid or SNAP, and one in every four Missouri DSPs lives below the federal poverty level. The average starting wage for DSPs in Missouri is below $10 an hour, less than the Missouri minimum wage in 2021. Because they cannot afford to pay competitive wages, community providers in our service industry struggle to recruit and retain workers. I have been in um, situations in the past where I've gone to work in the morning and not known who was going to pick me up on, you know, when I was done with my job in the, in the evening. So, um, and that carries with it quite a bit of anxiety. Our broken rate system has even drawn the attention of CMS, the federal agency that oversees state's Medicaid and Medicare services, which has placed Missouri on a five-year corrective action plan. We cannot solve the DSP crisis on our own. Community providers contract with Missouri Department of Mental Health to provide long-term supports and services, and we are reimbursed for every hour of care we provide at a rate set by the state. Simply put, we are price takers, not price setters. Missouri providers are losing millions of dollars each year just to provide the basic level of support that Missourians with disabilities need. We know what it will take to fix the DSP crisis. We need $86 million of general revenue to compete with the rising minimum wage in order to stabilize the workforce for these critical services. $86 million secured through the legislative budget process will fix our outdated rates and finally allow service providers to recruit and retain the amazing DSPs needed so Missourians with intellectual and developmental disabilities have access to the services they depend on to live a healthy, happy, and meaningful life. Please join me by accepting this challenge to fix the crisis. I ask you kindly to please follow this topic as it moves through the legislative budget process in both the House and Senate. We need you to be our hero.